Hey guys, Jess here, and it's time for your weekly Gears recap. The big news this week is the One Shot One Kill event. Not only that, but the event has earnable weapon skins, which are the fan favorite flaming skins originally seen in Gears 3. You can earn the Flaming Marksa for winning three matches in the One Shot One Kill event, and you can earn the Flaming Long Shot by getting 100 headshots and a hat trick ribbon in the event. If that sounds like a lot to get in a few days, don't worry. The event lasts until September 4th. Just make sure you register for the event and track your stats yourself because the progress isn't visible to players. These rewards will be granted sometime before September 25th. And also, as I said last week, there will still be melees in the playlist, but hopefully the incentive for headshots to earn those flaming skins will overcome that urge for players. Personally, I think the Ember skins are much better looking, but it seems there's nothing like nostalgia that puts a smile on a gearhead's face. On the topic of skins, also released this weekend is the last community design Nasher. Our capped P Molo V's Bloody Rust Nasher became available this weekend, and all you have to do to claim it is log in. If you haven't done so yet, be sure to do so before Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific. And you can always log into the website to claim it as well. The Competitive Beta Playlist 2.2 update is now live, and it further evolves the wall bounce system. The slip speed has been reduced by 9% to help balance bounce movement with strafing, along with the hopes of slightly increasing the time of the Nasher engagements. They also increased the slide distance after a cancel by 10% to help reduce the number of miss rolls and increase the areas for players to bounce. From what I've seen so far, people really like these changes. Don't forget to go give it a try yourself. On Thursday, the Coalition released the first video in their new series called Gear in the Machine. This series will show the fans a bit of the behind the scenes mechanics and thought processes to help better understand the game. This first episode focused on Nasher aim mechanics. It shows what triggers the use of center screen shooting versus barrel shot. Knowing this probably won't help many of us when we're playing, but at least we'll have a better understanding of how and why things function the way they do. And if you haven't seen the video, I highly recommend checking it out. I've got it linked below. Hopefully this turns out to be a nice series by the Coalition, and I look forward to seeing what they have planned for the future. Now for the speed round. Ready? Onyx Gold and Engineer gear packs are available this weekend. There's only five more days to get that sweet, sweet 500 credit win bonus, so make sure you get that first win of the day. Horde Frenzy has been split into two playlists based on preferred difficulty. And Commando Dom is now craftable. Oh, and in other news that may not be news but kinda is, we saw this tweet from Node Zero, and it appears he's looking into lag compensation. Let's hope this is foreshadowing only good things for Gears 5. I mean, one can hope, right? Well, that's gonna do it for your Gears recap this week. Please like and subscribe to keep up to date with our content. I also want to point out that August 21st was this series' one year anniversary. We've only changed the name once and skipped a week or two here and there, but that's not too bad, I'd say. To all of you who tune in every week, thank you. We appreciate all your support. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you all next week.